All right, so we got some pretty exciting news yesterday at something called Unreal Fest 2023. So first of all, Unreal Fest goes from October 3rd, which was yesterday until October 5th. So two more days yet, including today. So first of all, what exactly is Unreal Fest? It says there's something for everyone at Unreal Fest, from game developers and creators to filmmakers, artists, architects, and beyond. This year, Unreal Fest features 200 new sessions, including presentations, demos, and hands-on labs delivered by the Epic Games team and your industry peers. So pretty much everything Epic Games related is at this fest. And that of course includes Fortnite. So there was a ton of information broadcast yesterday. You can watch the live stream if you want. And like I said, it's still going on today and tomorrow. So chances are we could get a lot more news. So the biggest thing to come out of this event so far is the confirmation that multiple upcoming events are happening in Fortnite, including a concert. So first of all, let me just show you the clip from the live stream just to prove this, and then we'll talk about Epic. it. And I've been at Epic for about 20 years. And in that time, I've worked as a level designer, worked in cinematics, worked on some of our special projects, and uh, currently working on some of the events that we do for Fortnite. And I can tell you, uh, we'll talk a lot about that today. And so we generally have two different types of uh, event. One is narrative, and so that's usually uh, things like the Galactus event where we do tie-ins with Marvel, and we tell narrative in Fortnite uh, through some of these events. And then we also have concerts that are more musical in nature. And so examples of that might be the Ariana Grande concert or the Travis Scott concert. We've also worked a little bit with Marshmallow. Um, and so that's, that's primarily what I'm doing these days. Uh, so as you to... heard, this is Grayson Edge and he's the cinematic design director at Epic Games. So he's worked at Epic Games for 20 years and he explained what he does in Fortnite. So he says he pretty much handles the events as well as the cinematics and the concerts. So you can see right here on this freeze frame of what he's helped do, and that includes the Rift Tour with Ariana Grande, the Galactus event, and the Travis Scott event. So he pretty much said that they're working on multiple live events at the moment. So obviously it's been a long, long time since we've had an actual live event. In fact, it's been 304 days. 304 days. And you know what that event was? Some people don't even consider it a live event because it was that bad. That was the end of Chapter 3. It was the Chapter 3 finale. And like I said, it was called Fracture. It had so many issues. A ton of people, including myself, got kicked out of it. And it looked more so like it was made in creative. It just wasn't very cinematic. It was a lot of running around and talking to NPCs. It just wasn't all that spectacular. And most people don't even consider it a live event. But technically... That was our last true live event, December 3rd, 2022, over 304 days ago. Now, yes, we've had a few concerts since then, but again, those weren't cinematic concerts. We had the Kid Leroy, but that was all creative. They're trying to push this creative concert and creative live event narrative, but nobody truly enjoys those, having seen what they can do with the cinematic or narrative events and concerts. So that's what he confirmed to us, that we're getting those types of concerts and live events, not the creative side. So how absolutely awesome is that? The Travis Scott as well as the Ariana Grande concerts were absolutely amazing. Even if you don't enjoy their music, chances are you still had a blast because they looked amazing, they sounded amazing, and it was just an overall great experience to be in. So the real question here is what are the events gonna be? Now chances are one of them is gonna be the chapter four finale. So we had the chapter three finale. It was lackluster to say the least. As we mentioned, that was the fracture event. Chapter 4 sounds like it's going on the right path, but we don't know much about it. We don't know what Chapter 5 is going to entail. There's been a lot of speculation that it's going to be Greek or Roman themed, so we'll see about that. But the hype has begun, especially knowing now that it's going to be on par with, say, the Galactus event or any of the other awesome events that we had in the first few seasons. So I don't know which I'm more excited for, an actual live event or an actual concert, not the creative kind. For the concert, it would just depend on who the artist is going to be. So I know there was a lot of talk of Lady Gaga. Now, I like her music. She has a lot of good songs. She is a bit on the bizarre side, but I'm sure that would translate great into Fortnite. I know a lot of people want Juice World as well. That would be pretty sweet. I've seen a lot of speculation for Eminem. I would love an Eminem concert, but and those are really the only names I've seen thrown around. I'm sure whoever they go with, it's going to be absolutely great, though. So apparently multiple live events and or concerts are in the works, which is promising. 
Now, one more bit of information came out, and I don't know if this is going to actually come true. And even the leakers and data miners said this could just be a placeholder. But apparently, Fortnite are working on new ranked rewards for next season in November. And as of now, they're the coveted umbrellas that everyone was asking for way back in Chapter 1. So the Silver Glider, the Gold Umbrella, the Platinum Glider, the Diamond Umbrella, the Elite Glider, a Champion Umbrella and Glider, and an Unreal Glider. So obviously, the higher rank you are, the better the Umbrella or Glider you're going to receive. But I remember in Chapter 1, everyone asking for a gold umbrella. Based on what we heard, that could finally be the case. Now, Hypex did clarify. He said this, The release date of these rewards, as of now, is set to be November 25th. But it could be a placeholder. However, it does say that they released during Season 27, and we're currently on Season 26. So this is both good and bad, in my opinion. Obviously, if you get to Unreal, you're going to have the rarest or one of the rarest gliders in the game because not everyone can do that. Only a handful of people, in fact, can do that. So that kind of stinks for collectionists. If you want to collect everything in the game, you got to be really good to get to Unreal. So chances are most people are not going to get that. And I've missed ranked rewards before because before Zero Build came out, some of the ranked rewards were only in builds and I couldn't compete. I mean, I'm not that good at builds. So I missed a few raps back in the day and things like that just because I couldn't progress due to my lack thereof of skill. So the same thing could happen with this if they release these rewards based on your rank. Still though, it's a nice incentive to try and grind the new rank modes for sure. So there you go. That's what we know so far. If any other information comes out from Unreal Fest 2023 today or tomorrow, I'll be sure to let you know. But some good positive outlooks for Fortnite. I know a lot of people are saying it's going downhill. Some people even said it's going to end due to all the mishaps and bad news that has came out recently. But Fortnite is still going strong. Some of the highest numbers population wise we've ever had. And the fact that they're working on upcoming concerts and live events is definitely promising. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.